data engineering certificate is a great way to learn the right skills and also get a proof that you've taken a high quality course in the form of a certificate. But the problem is that there are so many different options and there's not enough time for all of them. And there's also a risk here. If you do take the wrong course, the wrong certificate, you'll waste a lot of time without reaching your goals because all courses are not the same and some are absolutely useless. In this video, we'll cover the top six data engineering certificates to determine the best. I could show you the list right away, but that's not helpful at all. You need to understand why and see the big picture to determine which course is best for you. This five minute video could save you months and help you get a job way faster. Because if you learn the right skills and take the best courses, you'll be more employable. It is that simple, but I promise I'll be as quick as possible. So let's begin. The first one on the list is the IBM Data Engineer Certificate. This one is really exciting because it's a mix of different programs and it's very comprehensive. But still, it's only five months at 10 hours a week and it's beginner level, so it's pretty easy to complete this one. You'll actually focus on the practical skills and knowledge of data engineers and what they use in their daily roles. You'll work with NoSQL and big data using MongoDB, Cassandra, Cloudant, Hadoop, Apache Spark, SQL, ML, and streaming. It also teaches you relational databases, creating, designing, and managing them. And don't forget ETL and data pipelines. You'll also learn all about that stuff, extract, transform, load, and classic data engineering tasks. I'm not gonna go through every course, but as you notice, some of these are actually in other IBM certificates, such as the IBM Data Science Certificate. And that is also why you'll see some courses with 30,000 ratings and some courses that barely have 200. It's that they're part of other programs as well, so they take the ratings from those programs. Now, I think this one is a pretty comprehensive course, and if we do look at the reviews, there are 4,200 reviews for the 4.6 rating, and two of these 13 courses are also practical projects with one Python project and one final capstone project, so you should at least have two projects in your portfolio when you complete this one. Building a portfolio early is definitely going to help you on the job market, and I don't really have anything negative to say about this one. I do think that it's going to teach you a lot of the core data engineering skills. But is it going to help you get a job in data engineering right away? I would say no. It's still quite a short course and most people that get into the field either have some experience or degree. And if you don't, then continue learning or get into another data role and then you can progress from there and eventually reach your goals. Next, we have a Google specialization and it's data engineering, big data and machine learning on Google Cloud Platform. Now, GCP is a cloud computing platform similar to AWS and Microsoft Azure. And in this one, you'll focus on data engineering, but do it specifically with Google's own cloud. So this one is for you with some experience in data engineering and you're specifically looking to focus on Google Cloud Platform. You don't need to be an expert, but you do need some basic understanding of the concepts that you're going to be working with in this course. It's pretty short at only one month at 10 hours a week, so it's basically 40 hours and there are five different courses. The first one teaches you big data and machine learning on Google Cloud. The next one focuses on data lakes and data warehouses and then building data batch pipelines and then resilient streaming analytic systems on Google Cloud. And finally, it's smart analytics, machine learning and artificial intelligence. So again, who should take this course? I think it's somebody who's looking to specialize in this platform with some experience of data engineering. You don't need to be an expert, but if you're looking to learn the fundamentals from scratch, I don't think that it's the right course. The next one is even better though, and I'll explain why. It's the Microsoft Azure Data Engineering Professional Certificate. This one is also intermediate level and you should have some understanding of data engineering and tools slash programming languages like SQL, Python or Scala. It is three months to 10 hours a week, so it's pretty short as well. There are 10 different courses in this one, all of which focus on data engineering tasks and Microsoft Azure. The interesting thing here is the final course, which is called Prepare for DP203. Now, DP203 is also known as Microsoft Certified Azure Data Engineering Associate. It's a real certification that you can take on Microsoft's website, where you basically take a formal exam viewed by a proctor, and then you pass and you become certified by Microsoft. And the thing is that this entire program is preparing you for this certification. So while it's giving you a professional certificate that teaches you everything, it is also giving you the option to prepare for a real certification if you want to take it. And that is probably the main benefit. If you're already taking a course, then 
why not take a course that specifically prepares you for an industry recognized certification now of course make sure that you look into this one and see that it's something for you i talk more about the certification in my data engineering video and i'll show you how to find this video at the end of this video because i've still got a lot of great certificates left to show you number four on the list is from duke university and this one is one of the most prestigious schools in the us and now you can take a course from them and get certified this one is called Python Bash and SQL Essentials for Data Engineering, and it's four months at five hours a week. So the estimated workload is around 80 hours. They don't require any programming or data engineering knowledge, but you're going to learn a lot in the program, so it's supposed to be for beginners. They do recommend that you understand the basics of Linux, but honestly, it's fine as long as you understand what it is, and there's a whole course about it in the program. Now, there are four different courses. The first one will teach you Python, and specifically the Pandas library, and how to apply it to data engineering. There's also a course about Linux, as I said, and Bash, as well as scripting with Python and SQL. And finally, web applications and command line tools for data engineering. The main benefit here is that if you're looking to learn Python, Bash, and SQL, this is a fantastic opportunity to do so while applying it to data engineering. One major mistake that people make when they learn a programming language is that they learn it for a general use case. But for example, when it comes to Python, there's so much that you can learn. You can use Python to literally build anything. It's super versatile. So if you focus on the data engineering aspect, then you should specifically learn Python for data engineering. Specialization is really the key to success and you don't have time to learn everything about Python. So I really appreciate that there are courses that actually specialize and focus on the skills that you you want to learn now the next course on the list is also from duke and it's pretty similar and it's called applied python data engineering specialization i do have some pros and cons so wait a moment now this one requires a stronger mathematical foundation and programming knowledge it's five months to 10 hours a week and it's slightly longer than the other one. But this one actually focuses on elevating your coding skills with data engineering and using big data for decision-making, analysis, AI, and machine learning. There are only three courses in the program, and it's not as popular and it's also pretty new, but I think it's an untapped gem. The first course is focusing on Spark, Hadoop, and Snowflake, and learning these tools. The next one is virtualization, Docker, and Kubernetes. And finally, data visualization with Python. So who is this course for? Well, I would say certainly not complete beginners, since you have other things to spend your time on, like the fundamentals, but it's more for somebody with some experience that want to focus on these things. I'm also slightly suspicious about their views, and it's only received 3.7 and 3.5. And that's not terrible, but for these courses, it's not the best either. I think it's because people enroll in this one thinking that it's going to be easier than it actually is, but it does require requires significant experience, especially on the mathematical side. And when it comes to the actual curriculum, I do think that it looks very good. So if you are the right fit, then you can definitely give it a try. Picking a course is a lot about personal preference, as well as where you're starting from and what you want to learn. And I want to hear your opinion in the comments, share which one is your favorite and why. And your opinion might help somebody else or help me make another video in the future. I've shown you many great courses, but the most important thing is just to get started. And if you're confused, just pick one and give it a try. And I'll leave a link in the description where you can try them out for free. Thanks for watching and good luck on your journey.